You're listening to Combat Radio with Ethan Dettenmeyer, right here on L.A. Talk Radio. Hi, this is Ethan with Combat Radio. We're standing on Radford Avenue, right up the street from CBS Radford, where we are looking at a haunted overpass uh, right at the CBS and the 101. And I'm actually with paranormal expert and our resident paranormal, our our resident paranormal expert, I guess, uh, Marcus Lindsay. How are you, Marcus? Good, thank you. And I'm with producer Loda Hadley. Loda, how are you? I'm great. Marcus, what can you tell us actually about this overpass? All right, well, like you said, the overpass is here in uh, Studio City. It's on Radford Avenue uh, underneath the 101. Um, The story actually is a sad story. It's about this man originally named Russell who was found burning in his car, in the trunk of his car. And it was first reported by the Studio City Patch. And no other news outlets cover the story. Uh, He was found in the trunk. But it was ruled a homic- no, it was ruled a, a homicide. No, it wasn't ruled a homicide. It was ruled an accident, even though he was tied up, buried in his trunk. It's one of those mafia accidents, if you will. Exactly. Like, what's the problem here, officer? And He's tied up. Can't you see that? Tied up and burning in his car. Right. So when they came out here, they, they found a, a burning car. Fire department came out and Ever since then, uh, about a dozen or so neighbors have made calls to the police reporting that there have been like a huge shadow figure, seven foot tall shadow figure making noise. Uh, It's been reported to the local uh, police department and people have seen the shadow figure coming up and down the bridge and nobody can explain what it is. A mysterious seven foot shadow figure. Well, we're gonna take a step Maybe he's trying to alert somebody to who the hell, because they never solved the that, mystery. We it? will handle the cr- criminal aspects of the case, Loda, since you're going to stay here and watch us. Loda is going to be in the car, engine running, exactly. waiting to make a very fast getaway. You know what's interesting about this, though, Marcus, is looking at this. This is a common freeway overpass, not the kind of thing you traditionally associate with haunted elements. It's not a spooky house, a mansion, or a cemetery, or some kind of old Hollywood icon type place it's just basically an overpass like any other and what you pointed out was about halfway through in the darkness over there is a memorial to the victim and the crazy thing about that being a memorial there is like I said nobody reported that he's missing he has family members but yet there's always a candle there or there's always something there so somebody somewhere is memorializing his his loss but nobody talks about it right here we go now you said marcus you've investigated this yeah we investigated in 2011 and we investigated at night i don't know if you can hear right now but you do hear cars going over the overpass and it's windy out here and just because we're outside you pick up a lot of uh ambient noise out here so to investigate we needed a digital recorder we had a you know, all these things that capture sound, but we couldn't do that just because it's out here, you know, it's outside. Right. So we had to rely on um, video and we had to try to recreate uh, the shadow. So we took a car, drove up and down. We tried to re- recreate what people were seeing. Right, right, right. We ca- a possible real conclusion. Correct. And we kind of did, but it was never that seven foot shadow. It was a, basically a car shadow passing by the overpass. Bridge. Let me just actually paint a visual here. It is an old overpass. It's had some work done to it. In fact, some of the ceiling seems to be coming down about halfway through. It's a big, what would you say? Maybe six, wait, eight lanes up there. It's it's a long overpass. It gets a little dark in parts. And I can actually see the memorial that we're uh, gonna walk up and check out. So what can you, all right, so let's go for it. You can actually see two in the in the pavement, I don't know where it is, but in the pavement, uh, it was, they had a burn. I don't know if they fixed it already, but it was burned out. Is that it? That, that looks about like uh, the size of a car length, and it definitely looks like some damage has been done there. It is almost the shape of wow, a car. A car, yeah. When did, this, when did this accident happen, if it was in, in fact an accident? I think this happened in 2010. So it's a couple years old. Yeah, a couple years old, yeah. In 2010. All right. 
Well, as it stands right now, I don't see a shadow, but uh, that's obviously not conclusive. Now, does anything stick out to the uh, to you, Marcus, being our resident expert about the surroundings? Anything? I mean, it looks like any normal underpass you would find anywhere in America. Uh, there's nothing that looks strange about it. I mean, uh, right here, in fact. Look, you had this broken fence. Yeah. So theoretically, I mean, it could have been a homeless person jumping over the fence with his bottles, right? And that's making the noise, and he disappears over the fence. It could have been a car going underneath the overpass. I mean, the underpass, you know, and, and people seeing shadows. But nobody really knows for sure, and that's the mystery about the underpass bridge. Yeah, and what we should point out is part of your approach is to find any possible logical conclusions for what's being reported. You're not one of these instant guru, it's haunted. You need to find evidence of it and uh, and make sure that what is there, there is no explanation for. Because you yourself actually said that there's no way of knowing. None of us know. People can assume that it's paranormal. People can assume that it's him trying to communicate with somebody. Or there could be a logical explanation what's causing this. But nobody knows for sure. And that's what makes this a great mystery.